Hi Libra, what's up? It's me, your girl D, Eighth House Energy, here to bring you a weekly reading. This is going to be for Sunday, December 8th through Saturday, December 14th. What's going on, Libra? How you enjoying your uh, Sagittarius season? Hopefully you're starting to um, experience the abundance that's coming when uh, Sagittarius, when Jupiter goes into... Uh, what house is it for you? Uh, let's get it right this time because I think I got it right on the last, <laughs> got it incorrect. <laughs> One of my subscribers was like, um, I think it's the second, it went in on, oh yeah, it went in on December 2nd, not December 3rd. And it went from, I believe it was your second house to your third house. Is it your third house to your fourth house? It's to your fourth house because you had Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, and Capricorn. Yeah, it went from your third house to your fourth house. It went into your fourth house. Um, for you, your fourth house is going to be based on your career, your reputation, what you're known as. All right. So some of you may see, um, you know, uh, positive growth in as far as your career is concerned, your reputation, you know, and what you're known as. Some of you are going to get some luck in those areas. So, um, you know, I would love to uh, to be able to uh, check in with you and see how that goes, because um, you got what, two or three more weeks all right, and then it's really going to get into um, the heat of things, especially once it gets past the introduction stage. I'm not sure. I didn't check to see what degrees it's at right this point, but I think once it gets past, um, uh, I don't know. I think once it gets past at least 10 to 15 degrees, then, you know, it'll really be in rare form and you'll really start to start feeling the effects of it. Um, some of you may already be feeling it, but this is going to be a general read, Libra, okay? So um, it doesn't matter where Libra is in your chart, all right? It just may resonate more with some than others, but take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't try to make it fit. It's not your reading. It's not your reading. You can check your other, um, you know, signs and check the readings for those. You guys know I put a link in the chart in the box below where you can put your birth date in and it'll tell you what your sun sign is, your moon sign, your ascending sign, not your ascending sign. It won't tell you your ascending sign. I'm lying. You need your time of birth in the place you were born for your ascending sign. This app just needs your month, day, and year, and it will tell you all of your other placements, everything but the ascending sign, okay? So check that out. <clears throat> Maybe you need to watch a video for your moon sign. Maybe you need to watch a video for your Venus sign or your Mars sign when it comes to love. So without further ado, Libra, let's see what we got for you. And I do want to thank you guys who continue to support the channel from day one. I love you guys. Um, you guys are the bomb. And I, I, and I really enjoy doing this for you. All right. So let's see what we got here. Libra. Libra, first card out. We got the Seven of Pentacles, Libra. Okay, this is um, this is Taurus energy. Okay, so with the uh, Seven of Pentacles here, we're looking at a situation where you are looking at all of your options. You may have uh, planted some seed, some seeds. And now you're watching things grow, okay? And this is a great thing. This is exactly what I'm talking about because especially when it comes to your career and the things that you are known for, your status, um, your your um, your routines, also good karma, lessons learned, all right? <clears throat> you got a lot of beautiful things brewing in this tree that are going to grow and they're going to bring you positive results because you were setting good positive seeds. You were planting positive seeds. See the tree here, all these pentacles represent um, seeds that are growing that you're going to be able to pluck once they're ripe. All right. And you're going to be able to benefit from them because you put all the hard work in and you let them grow. All right. So this represents you, um, you know, putting in, uh, effort and work into your career. All right. The things that you um, aspire to do, whether it's, um, you know, making money or um, maybe there is a particular um, creative idea that you have, whether you're trying to start a business, um, anything that you're trying to do where you're trying to be known for it and be reputable for it. You're going to and you're putting and you've planted some seeds and you put some things in place. Now, if you haven't, now is the time to do it because you're going to get wonderful results. Um, and if you have already been doing it, boy, oh boy, it's coming and it's going to come into fruition um, while um, Capricorn is in your fourth house. OK, um, for a lot of you, it's going to come in the reference of your home, your family life. 
okay? Um, for those of you who are in a relationship and you live with your partner, you're going to see changes for the positive in your relationships, okay? Your um, relationships with your family members, your friends, your close friends and family. Uh, some of you, your mom, your relationship with your mom is going to uh, uh, grow and blossom, all right? Uh, some of you may acquire some luck because of some family members or some friends, Um you're probably, some of you may have been decorating your home and getting your home nice and cozy for the cool, the cool winter months. Or if you're on the other side of the world, you know, you're getting ready to go into, um, you're getting ready to go into summer. Okay. So a lot of positive things coming for you. Beautiful, beautiful energy, Libra. Now let's see what's going to challenge that. Okay. It's either going to challenge it for the, the better or for the, or it's going to add to it, enhance it, or it's going to challenge it. Let's see. All right, so we got the Nine of Swords, okay? So that's the challenge here, the Nine of Swords. Now, the Nine of Swords energy is you stressing and worrying, okay? You overanalyzing and overthinking and Libra true air <laughs> sign fashion. Get out of your head, Libra, okay? You got to find something to do to take your mind off of things. Find something that you like to do that helps you to rejuvenate and relax and get to it, please. You, I know you're anxious about, you know, your investments and things like that, but you got to have balance. It's one thing to put your hard work and effort into things, but at the same time, you got to relax and rejuvenate your spirit so that you can take things to the next step. So you got to give yourself a little break here. Give yourself a little rest. Okay. Go on a, you know, take a, take a, go out to nature. You know, if you can't go anywhere or travel or do anything extravagant, go to your local park, go someplace where you don't see any buildings. And just, you know, take in that energy for at least an hour. You know, dress really warm. See if you can go out someplace for 20 minutes, you know, depending on how cold it is. But dress super warm so that you can be outside in the element. Walk in the snow. You know, um, we collect positive ions all day based on being around, especially around technology and the things that we eat. You know, we need to get some negative ions and going out into nature, walking in grass, walking in the snow, you know, walking on the wet ground. That helps to counteract those positive ions. You know, so let's see what the universe wants you to focus on. Oh, let's see. Your transformation, death card, Scorpio energy. The universe wants you to focus on your, your transformation. Okay, so maybe this is representing you being anxious about that because you know things are changing or things are about to change. Okay. I think that things are going to change for the better and you might be a little anxious about that because you maybe can sense something. All right. And so as a result, you're going to go through a transformation. And so the universe wants you to focus on you. So again, this goes back to you taking care of yourself, saving your strength. Okay. Um, eating better, working out, getting your rest. Um, if finding something that helps to soothe and relax you, not everybody meditates. Okay. That's fine. Um, but find something that soothes and relax you. If it's nothing more than laying down, putting some buds in your ear and listening to some relaxing music, okay, for at least 10 minutes out of the day, you know, regularly. You got to start, you know, taking better care of yourself. You're going through a major transformation. You just came out of some rough shit, a lot of you, all right? So now it's time to heal, all right? So you got to come out of your head and finish the rest of your transformation. Now, let me see where your head is at. Your head is the fool. You're ready for a new beginning, all right? But the challenge is, is you don't want to overthink things. You don't want to be stressing about it, okay? That's the challenge. So you want a new beginning. So I understand why, you know, the transformation card is here, why the nine of swords is here, and why the seven of cups is, um, seven of pentacles is here. You're ready for a new change. So you're looking at the, the seeds that you planted. You're in your head about it, trying to figure out what it is that you need to do. You know there's a transformation coming, and you're ready for the new beginning. Let's take a look at what your outcome is going to be. Libra, I have the tower in reverse. This is Mars energy, okay? So you've already been through the worst, Libra. You know, and if you don't... I'm not, okay, how can I say this? You've been through a lot, okay? So now that you're in this stage of transformation here, or the universe is preparing you for transformation, and maybe you feel it, and that's why you might be a little antsy, but you do want a new beginning, and at some point, you know you're going to have to transform in some way to get it, okay? 
So that might have been the tower moment here. Like, okay, I'm going to go through, I'm about to go through some major stuff now. All right. With this, I'm sorry, it was under my... <laughs> my rock there uh, with this tower card in reverse so you've already been through some major catastrophe some major change sudden unexpected change okay you've already been there so now with the overall energy here I have the two of cups in reverse okay so relationship Okay, this could be with a family member or a friend. Remember I was saying to you earlier how um, uh, with Jupiter going into your 10th house, um, it may manifest its ways in your relationships with your family members, okay, or your loved ones. All right, and so we have the two of cups in reverse. So this is telling me that there's some type of dispute or argument or disagreement with a family member. Um, for some of you, this is you separating from the person that you were in a relationship with, you severing ties, okay? But uh, let's clarify and get some energies here and see what's going on with my Libras. All right, December 8th through the 14th for my Libras. Let's clarify the Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? For my Libras. Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? All right, I got the Nine of Swords again, Ace of Wands in reverse, Empress in reverse, Seven of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Justice in reverse. All right, so you're being patient with this Seven of Pentacles energy here. You're being patient. You're trying to be patient, but the challenge is... You being in your head with the Nine of Swords. And we know that's true because we have it here again, clarifying the Seven of Pentacles. All right, so you're anxious for the fact that maybe, um, you know, things are not going to go the way you want it with this relationship. Okay, um, maybe you and your person are not intimate anymore with the Ace of Wands in reverse. Um, maybe you know that things are over and you're in the process of getting ready to go through this transformation and you feel it you feel that things are over that's why you have that nine of swords energy with the ace of wands in reverse all right now we have the empress in reverse and the seven of cups now you know this is not a situation that's not good for you i mean that's you know this is a situation that isn't good for you there's nothing there's no growth coming out of this situation <clears throat> so you're in your head right now with the seven of cups Trying to figure out your different options, what you want to do, how you want to do things. Uh, because again, with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, um, you're, you're done with this situation because you, you didn't. it wasn't fair to you with the Justice card in reverse. It wasn't something that was beneficial to you. Um, not at all. Not at all. So let's take a look at the challenge. The challenge is this Nine of, Wands, Nine of Swords for you to, to not be in your head about this and to be with this on your mind all day. So we have the King of Cups in reverse. We have the Magician. We have the Death card in reverse. We have the Mag the King of Wands. We have the Knight of Cups. And we have the Knight of Wands in reverse. All right. So, yeah, you're in your head because this person is doing some manipulative shit or was doing some manipulative shit. And I think you're reminiscing about it because we have the King of Cups in reverse as well as the Magician. All right. And then we have the Death card in reverse and then the Knight of Wands. So... You realize this, you, it was a shock to you, you know, it really was, it was really tough, but you, you accepted that it was over and you come into your power with the Nine of Wands, all right? So we got the Knight of Cups and then the Knight of Wands in reverse. So this person could be coming back, but they just want to be intimate, okay? This is just a sex thing for them with you, okay? Keep that in mind, all right? And that may be, um... That may be why you're anxious, because this person is still reaching out to you or trying to reach out to you. Um, but it looks like they may be coming to apologize, but they just want to be intimate. And that's it. Okay? They're still up to their manipulative ways. Okay? So just keep that in mind. You know, if you just want to have sex with someone, that's up to you. You know what I mean? But just know that that's all that it is, because this person, um, they're, they're, not, they're not wanting anything serious or you know that there's nothing serious going to come out of this relationship but let's take a look at this death card here 
Why is this death card here? Why is the universe wanting you to focus on, on the transformation? We have the five of swords in reverse. We have the nine of wands in reverse. We have the queen of cups, queen of swords, seven of pentacles again, page of swords in reverse. So yeah, this transformation that you're going through is the fact that you realize that you put in all this time and effort. Some of you were in this relationship for years. Could have been anywhere between nine and ten years. All right, seven, eight, nine years. And um, no matter what you did or how you tried to connect with this person, it was always a fucking problem. And it was never a, it was never fair to you. It was never fair to you. And for some of you, the relationship wasn't even a relationship. For some of you, it was a situation that wouldn't go anywhere. Okay? And so you realize all this time you put in. So you're going through the transformation. You're looking at this with Scorpio energy. It's about dealing with your hidden feelings and your emotions. And when those hidden feelings in, about the situation and those emotions come up to bubble, a lot of it is a, is, 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 is a lot to deal with. Okay? And it's actually dealing with the reality and accepting the truth of shit. That it was fucked up. That what happened to you was really mean and it, was, it wasn't it was right. And you dealt with it for so long. You know, you were very giving and supportive to this person with the, um, the Queen of Cups. But you realized that, you know what? I can't do this anymore. This is just not working for me. And you cut it off with the Queen of Swords. All right? So now what you're doing is you're trying to be patient with the Seven of Pentacles trying to look at what's going on around you and start to focus on that and to put your energy and effort into that so that you could grow um, uh, vibes of positivity around you in every other area of your life. <coughs> Excuse me. You're not even communicating with this person. And if you are, there's very little communication. For some of you, you may have children with this person, so you do have to communicate with some to some extent. If there is any communication right now, it's arguing. Um... You know, this person is is just communicating with you in a manner in which, you know, it's just, they just want sex. Or maybe this is you. Maybe you just want sex from this person. You don't want anything else. You've accepted the fact that this is what it is. All right? And that's just what you, and that's what it is for you. And you're okay with that for some of you. Now, let's take a look at this fool card here. This is where your head's at. You're ready for a new beginning. Okay? So, let's see what's going on with that. So we got the devil card, mm -hmm. the star card, mm -hmm. the sun in reverse, the six of wands, the world, five of pentacles in reverse. Look at all these major arcanas, clarifying the fool. We got the devil and the star card, all right? So some of you, you do want a new beginning, but you're, you're in the process of healing from this energy, you know, because you were codependent on this person. But for a lot of you, this is a very strong sexual energy as well. With the Ace of Wands in reverse, the Knight of Wands in reverse, and the Devil card. <clears throat> Good sex. Okay, which is why a lot of you were open. And it happens. Shit, this happens to a lot of people. Don't even, you know, trip about it. But um, you realize that this person was delaying gratification as far as you being in a relationship. For some of you, this was a situationship and you wanted it to go further. And this person was stringing you along. All right. And um, with the sun card in reverse here and the six of wands, that's definitely telling me they were stringing you along. But you, you put a stop to it with the world card. All right. And so with the um, five of pentacles in reverse here, um, this is somebody who may be having some financial the financial situation is going to get better now. How crazy is that? You know, sometimes what happens is when we cut out negative energy or people around us, our financial situation gets better. And guess why it's going to get better? This all makes sense to me because, again, Jupiter is moving into your fourth house, your house of career reputation. Jupiter is about expansion, growth, good luck, good karma. Okay? So, um... Yeah, I got the Ace of Pentacles in reverse here for you when you were dealing with this person. So dealing with them was taking a toll on you financially as well. All right. So let's take a look here at the Tower in reverse here. All right. So it looks like the worst is over, Libra, with the Tower in reverse. We got the Eight of Swords in reverse. Uh-huh. We got the Queen of Pentacles. 
We have the Ace of Swords. Mm -hmm. We got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. We got the Two of Pentacles and the King of Swords in reverse. Some of you got divorced. Yeah, you uh, you got divorced. Um, but you realize that it was something that needed to be done. You're good financially. You can take care of you, and you can take care of the children. Whoever um, is uh, gonna be the you know have the main have uh, primary custody. Um, some of you might be splitting custody with the court decision here. Um, there's also financial um, financial. Huh, there were financial problems as well, especially when you guys decided to divorce. <coughs> Excuse me. So, but it looks like you're financially fine. Um, whether you're the mom or the dad in the situation, you're, you're fine and you can handle whatever payments you have to make as far as child support or, um, if the child, the children are living with you or the child is living with you, you can handle, um, the financial aspect of taking care of a child and yourself and being comfortable, quite comfortable financially. Okay. Because a lot of you, when you were with your partner, you were comfortable financially. All right. So both of you could have been very well, you know, well established in your careers, and uh, with the two of wands here and then the king of swords, it's like you're looking at your options as far as how you want to do things. Uh, but with the king of swords, you 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 really um, are keeping, you might be keeping things to yourself. You may not be sharing too much of what's been going on. All right. Um, but you are actually looking to see what you want to do next. All right. Yeah, because this situation is pretty much done with the two of cups in reverse. All right. And then we have the... What is this? This is the nine of pentacles in reverse. Okay. It wasn't worth the situation and it's not worth working on. Okay. With this relationship. So these two cards are saying that this relationship for some of you who weren't married, even if you were married to this person, you did, you're you looking at this like this was a waste of time. A lot of you, especially the ones who don't have children. Of course, you don't feel that way about your children for those who do. But you just feel like dealing with this person, especially if it was a situationship, it was a waste of time. That's what I'm getting with these two cards. All right. And with the Empress in reverse, this was a situation that just there was no real growth. All right. It wasn't going anywhere. I got the Emperor in reverse twice here. All right. These two cards, Empress in reverse, lack of growth, no progress, no progression. All right. And then I got the uh, Page of Cups here. So this was just a situation with page energy. Okay, this is a situation where it's like, okay, someone just wants to call you from time to time and hang out. This is what page energy is. Okay, someone who wants to date. So maybe you guys are interested in dating now. Maybe you guys want to step out into the dating scene because you realize that this situation is a flop. So maybe you're interested in love now. Okay, maybe some of you, you, you going through the transformation and you're ready to start dating. But you definitely are aware of what this negative energy is. And you're definitely not going to deal with that anymore with the King of Cups and reverse. Okay. Some of you, um, you know, may be a little bit depressed. Okay. With the Star card, you're healing. But you want to be careful because this Devil energy is here. So some of you may be drinking a little in excess. So you may want to be careful or doing other types of drugs. So just be careful. Okay. That could be why you're, you know, in your head a lot with this Nine of Swords energy because I have that twice here. All right. I also have the King of Cups in reverse here again. So, again, you know, be careful as far as, you know, if you're in the Devil energy. If you're um, in a Star card, those all represent drug, you know, alcohol, use, and excess. And then we have the Eight of Swords, okay? Eight of Swords energy. So, you... you had an idea of what was going on, okay, but you you would let it go. It's like to me, this is like the pushy. I don't want to call it that. I'm not gonna say that word. You were someone who was very supportive to this person. Too much. Let's put it that way. You did too much for them. You gave them way too much. Okay, and they took advantage of that. Absolutely, they took advantage of it. <clears throat> seven. Excuse me. We have the seven of wands here in reverse. So yeah, you're no longer fighting for the situation. For what? For what? You realize it's not going anywhere. It's not fruitful. Remember the Empress cards in reverse? There were two of them. So that's double confirmation that this wasn't going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. It was never going to go anywhere. All right? Now, this person may come in and may want to apologize with the Knight of Cups here. They may want to come and apologize. But we have the King of Swords in reverse. They might be coming with some bullshit, though. Some lies. 
Okay, not being honest, not saying everything, telling you what you want to hear. Okay, and then we have the Queen of Cups in reverse because they, you know, they um they think that you are. Some of them realize that you are emotionally dependent upon them, and there's that devil energy again. Okay, emotionally dependent upon them, and that you 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 can't live without them. Some of them have that idea that you can't live without them. Some of you may have even thought that you couldn't survive without this person. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so this is somebody who has been taken advantage of as well emotionally. Somebody who um may could kind of be numb emotionally, okay, with the Queen of, of uh, uh, Cups in reverse, all right? This represents somebody who um, may have been abused emotionally, okay? So this person emotionally abused you, took advantage of you, all right? And I know that because we got the King of Cups energy here, okay? Definitely. And we got it twice, and it's in reverse twice. So this is double confirmation of that. Now, let me see what kind of advice Spirit has for you. Okay, because you're going through a transformation, you know, it's it's hard leaving someone that you've been with for a long time and that you felt that now I don't see no love out here. Only cups I see out here are the seven of cups with someone being in their head, okay, about a situation. And then we got the um the two of cups in reverse, meaning that there's problems in paradise. And we have the king of cups in reverse, which is manipulative behavior. Somebody may be drinking. Okay, excessively or partying excessively with drugs. Now, the only positive card is the Queen of Cups, but that's because you were being supportive to this person. This person wasn't being supportive to you. So, let's see what we got. What do we got for my Libras? And this is going to be for December 8th through the 14th. Libra. 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 Libra, my love. Magician and the mirror. This is number 53. Five and three, if you add them together, is eight. Eight is about manifestation, Libra. You can manifest whatever it is you desire. Here's the manifestation card here, the magician. Let's see what the spirit <clears throat> message is for the magician and the mirror, number 53. All right, so this card represents the culmination of your personal and spiritual power at this time. All right, Libra. In the magician's left hand, let's talk about it. In the magician's left hand, I don't know if this shows up in the left hand for you, but when I look at this card, <clears throat> the, it's, the left hand is on the left side. So it may be for you too. So in the magician's left hand is, here's this magician. Let's focus on this one. Is the flame of passion and action. In his right hand is a vortex of water and the light of reflection. <clears throat> this highly beneficial card is telling you that you are the magician. And within your grasp are these amazing forces of earth and spirit. The water is the energy of yin, the power of spirit and clarity of thought. The flame is the energy of yang, bringing direction and creativity. Together, they give you the ma magnificent magic of transformation. That's why we have the death card. Transformation. Now, the mirror stands beside the magician, reflecting the outer world response to your choice to use or dismiss the true power that you have. Its silver reflection reveals the future <clears throat> in a mist on the horizon, ready to be magically formed. When you receive the magician upright, you are put on notice that an important and powerful time is at hand. You are the alchemist of your life. And just as an alchemist turns base metal into gold, you are now able to transform your difficulties into blessings, great blessings. This is true in area, every area of your life. Claim your power and embrace your intentions in your heart and in your daily life. Direct your destiny. And the mists of fortune will clear into brilliant reality. Didn't I tell you <clears throat> with the seven of pentacles showing up twice? Didn't I tell you 
that you were in, in an area now where you're going to be successful. Yeah, in the beginning, I was telling you how Jupiter was going to bless you and bring you good karma. You got this, Libra. This is what's up. Now, just there's an affirmation you may want to say or put it on the sticky note and put it in your mirror. It says, I have, I have all the power I need to create the destiny I desire. Magic happens when I live in consciousness and my eternal truth. This is great to put on your refrigerator, too. You know, just some daily affirmations so that, you know, you look at them, you put them on there and you just look at them every time you go there and it, it's a constant reminder. So, it, you know, the thought is energy. So if you're constantly reminded of positive thoughts <clears throat> by having little things around to remind you of it, then, you know, that's going to help you think about it more and that's going to help you manifest. All right, Libra. So that's what I'm talking about. Libra, this was an amazing reading. I was so happy to be able to bring this great news to you. I can't wait to see what um, unfolds for you guys for the rest of the year and into 2020. So with uh, that being said, Libra, I'm going to go ahead and end your video here. And I wish you all the best. You know I love you. And I'll see you next time. Peace out.